Hello my lovelies, welcome back to All About Jamie. So in my previous episodes, I've shown you guys how I would style yellow and green handbags. Today, I thought I'll go with the classic colour, white. So guys, I've brought out all my white handbags and I know that they can be very intimidating. White handbags are really hard to maintain and if they get stained, OMG, it can be very heartbreaking. So I'll also share some tips on how I protect my white handbags before I bring them out. One of the things I always do is to make sure that my closet is clean and free of dust. And I've got my trusty Dyson V11 vacuum cleaner here to help me. I love this because it is so convenient, it is cordless and probably the most powerful vacuum cleaner I have ever used. It sucks out dust from areas that I never knew existed. Let's try it out. It is really powerful and looks so stylish. Even if I just display it in my closet, it does look pretty chic. So I know you guys must be curious how I keep all my white bags. The thing about white bags is do not keep them near a window because sunlight and excessive moisture cause them to yellow. So what I do is to make sure that they are free from any open windows. But of course, when you are taking them out, you can't be just taking them out to places that have no sun. But what I'm saying is that when you store them, try to store them away from the light. And you might think that white bags are really hard to maintain, but I beg to differ as this white Epson Birkin is my everyday bag. I use it to go to the supermarket, to go to the nursery. It is really one of my very trusty handbags that I always choose whenever I have to go somewhere. Simply because it is going to be so easy to clean if I get dirt on this handbag. I think I did a vlog on how I remove dirt from this white Epson handbag again but I'm just going to reiterate myself that I actually use a product called GIF which is Sif in Singapore. So this is like a household cleaning product. Okay, this is not sponsored. A household cleaning product that my helpers swear by. And how we discovered how Good, this product. This white handbag actually got very, very dirty with black stains on it. I don't know what I must have put it. I must have put this handbag on the floor where it was dirty. And of course, you know, with the wear, you really can't stop a white handbag from turning black. So this is a natural micro crystal. It says that it effectively removes the have this dirt 100% shiny clean okay it sounds like an ad this is not an ad it's just a product that I really love to use but only on my white Epson handbag I wouldn't recommend you using this on any other color handbags because that part that you are using sieve on is just going to come out probably white that's why i only use it on white handbags because you can't get any wider than white but any shade that is not white please refrain from using this product so how i do this is to just take a clean white soft cloth white because you don't want the color of let's say a yellow cloth to be transferred to your white handbag so always use a soft white cloth and just put a little bit of the product undiluted and start rubbing it on the stain i guarantee that it is going to come out sparkling white i don't really protect the handbags using leather sprays etc i wouldn't recommend that 
because some of these leather sprays or leather protective sprays could contain wax and you really don't want to have like a waxy product coating your beloved handbags it might just change the look of the leather the texture of it i don't know i've never tried these handbags have never been pre-coated with anything and um, of course some of the tips i mean these are no-brainers when you are wearing a white handbag of course don't put it on the floor where it's dirty yeah refrain from wearing white handbags with blue denim for example because of the high possibility of color transfer blue denim almost always transfer onto white leather i can guarantee you that if you don't believe me you can try it but if mishap happens it wasn't me some of the horror stories that have happened to me with regards to my white handbags would be of course color transfer had been a very reoccurring problem that i had previously because i love to wear blue denim jeans having said that recently i haven't really been wearing a lot of blue denim with my white bags i don't know why i was just like out of that phase but previously a couple of years ago i was almost always in a pair of blue jeans you can see that i'm wearing white denim today i do not want any mishap happening but let me tell you a big problem on my two himalayan handbags before because i love wearing them with blue denim and every time i travel i always have the problem of color transfer onto the back of these handbags but you can see that they are spotless because I have just got the magic way to sort this up. I remember when I was on the plane one day and I had my handbag with the back facing me and I saw this whole bluish patch behind. I was completely in shock and mortified. Desperate thing for me to do was to think really fast. And I asked one of the cabin crew, if they had a white eraser or something for me and surprisingly they did have a white eraser for me just any white eraser like that this is the one I think they gave me it's probably for erasing pencil marks and I've used this for many years just like a regular white eraser you can get at any art and craft shop so what I did throughout the flight was to go scale by scale rubbing ever so gently until all the color came out this works really well and of course during rainy days you should always cover your white handbags with a raincoat and that is why i have a raincoat inside of every pocket on of my handbags something like that And if the weather is bad, I'll just take the raincoat out and place it over my handbag. And even if I don't have an umbrella to protect myself, I know that my handbags are going to be so well protected. And of course, to protect the interior of your white handbags, you can see that the interior is white as well a very good way is to use a handbag organizer something like that to put inside your white handbags and in this case whatever you put inside is not going to scratch the base of your handbag or even you know if your lipstick accidentally came undone you are safe. One of the good reasons why I would bring a white handbag when I travel is that they're super easy to match, which I'm going to show you a few styles that and how I would wear my white handbags. And of course, with the tips that I've just told you guys about, I know that my white handbags are going to remain pristine for a very long time. So I am going with this white handbag it is called the omnibus i had this handbag many many years ago i think it's from more than 10 years ago and if you guys can just see how 
white and pristine it still is even after I have stored it in my closet for many many years I like this handbag because it looks very preppy and I think that it looks very cute with this kind of outfit which literally is an outfit that you can wear anywhere from day to even like a nice dinner out so it's very easy to just wear a white handbag with literally any outfit even if i am styling this outfit with another bag which is the constance elan which is the longer style of the constance handbag i think it looks very very chic as well and this handbag could be styled like a clutch as well just by keeping the straps in it can actually be a day to night kind of style so just by turning it into a clutch bag it transforms your entire look into something ready for a ghost night out I absolutely love my white handbags in this leather called Edson because it is very durable and it keeps its shape I definitely like this leather a lot more than the smooth swift leather although the swift leather is a lot more expensive and Epson is probably the cheapest of all the leather but I do love this leather because it is very easy to maintain Sif is a lifesaver for my white handbags so yeah that's why I feel very confident to bring my white handbags anywhere because of this And this is my second look I'm wearing this feathered bustier top with a very relaxed pair of linen pants This is a very comfortable outfit which I would wear for you know like a garden luncheon or like when I travel and I just probably am visiting a museum or even to a chic Parisian lunch I would wear it with this Picnic Kelly. This bag is my pride and joy. I love this color combination. The most among all that came out, like the reds with the wicker. I think they had the brown, the yellow, the blue, and the green. Me, I love white. I'm sure all of you already know about my obsession with white dresses. I, I have like many many white dresses and I don't stop collecting white dresses at all so every season I would always um a cute I would always pick a few white dresses to add to my collection so this handbag actually makes a lot of sense because most of my white dresses or my garden party dresses looks perfect with this mini Kelly And this is my typical sundress look. I like to wear this kind of dresses with my small white Kelly. It feels a very Grace Kelly with a shape, this A-line shape of a very retro looking dress. And it goes perfectly with this white Kelly bag. I would, however, wear it without the strap. It just gives a more classic and feminine look when you style the handbag this way. today my lovelies i hope you have enjoyed this video do let me know which other colors you'd like to see me showcase next i'll see you all next week the oops <laughs> regarding um okay comments on